not do that next time. Hi guys! Welcome my city babes back to my channel. So in this video we're going to be doing a bit of a different one because I have been enjoying watching hair tutorials so I've been trying to you know incorporate those into my channel and so if you guys are into like hair videos just let me know because I've been really liking them. So today we're going to be doing a how I do my edges or edges snatched tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how you can go from just like this you know to this. Let me show you guys what I use before I even get to my edges. I use the It's Natural Organic Complex. This stuff is so good. It's like a little um, hair growth hair growth serum but like really I don't use it for hair growth I use it for moisture I'm going to show you guys my very dirty brush that I apply my edge cream with. It's a toothbrush. If you've never done your edges with a toothbrush before, welcome to my channel. We use toothbrushes over here. So I have what is called 4C hair. It is the tightest, kinkiest curl ever, which means that normally edge creams don't work on me. And so I have to use something, <clears throat> sorry, I have to use something that is aggressively going to keep my edges on. And I've tried like lots and lots of edge creams, but for some reason they just don't work. So I have to make sure to get something that's good. And I want to recommend something good for you guys too. So here's what I use. And I don't use this every time I do my edges, but for the most part, this is my go-to. Edge cream is not actually an edge cream. It's a glue. So, this is the Got To Be Styling Spiking Glue. And you guys, it's the number one glue in the United States for styling. And it rings true. And I just use a regular old toothbrush. And I put some on there. And I'm going to show you guys like fully in depth of how I do this because I think it's really cool. So I just take some edge cream and I put it on my hairline right here, right? So I just put it like this and I apply it all the way down. So I apply it on the hair and down. And I'm going to let it get tacky. And by tacky, I mean like a little bit wet. Not like damp, basically. I want it to be a little bit sticky before I go in and like curve out everything. So I'm getting like really close to you guys. I'm trying to like make sure y'all see everything. So we've got the hair... It is tacky. It will be tacky. And sometimes this happens down here. It's okay. I normally just take a wipe and just wipe that off. That happens, you know? It's a glue. So once it's tacky, we can go in and start actually etching out my lines so you see how it's not white anymore that means that it's tacky so I just take it take my brush and I just start curling my brush around making sure that I'm picking up that so I make sure that it's tacky before I start doing this 
I usually touch it to see. Make sure it's tacky before it, I do this and not completely wet. Because I feel like any time that I've done it where it's completely wet, my edges don't look good because it doesn't stay. So I just do this till the cows come home. Just curl it. And then down here, some people like to do this where they like really go in and do this, but I just make sure that the edge cream is not stuck on my face. Then I just take my wipe and wipe away all that. So as you can see, edges are laid. And once it's ready, I'll go back in and just reform the lines. Because, you know, my hair likes to stick on the thing, so I just make sure that it's clean and nice and precise. And these edges are done. You got two little swirls. I mean, I think that looks good. hope you guys enjoyed this video did I mention that these brows are also waterproof because this is a water resistant spiking glue which means you can literally go out in the rain and it will stay on love that all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching be sure to like this video comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you guys in my next one bye